has to happen to get these big names in the ring? Uh, just, I feel like being up in the rank high enough and uh, maybe talking a little more. But like I said, I don't, I don't do the talk. You know, I'm all bite. I don't got bark. I'm saying I, I do my shine in the ring. How do you ward off the frustration, though, that like um, you haven't been able to get, like, say, like a Spence or a Crawford in the ring yet? Uh, I mean, ain't no frustration because I feel like it's coming soon. I feel like the longer they wait, it's gonna it's gonna be worse on them. But you know, hopefully, we we'll get them soon. You know, that's what we want. In your honest opinion, do you think Spence will fight you, or do you think he's just gonna end up moving up? Man? Uh, I think yeah, I think Spence will fight me. I don't think I don't think no fighter scared nobody. I think if you know the private price is right, deal is real. You know, I feel like we can make that happen. Yeah, hopefully we make that happen next. Would a Thurman fight be interesting for you? Definitely. Thurman got a big name for a lot of he beat a lot of top guys. He older but he still he still can fight. He's still he's still okay, you know, uh, and I feel like that'd be a great name to put on my resume too, you know. Uh, but like I said for I wanna go forward, I don't wanna go backwards, I don't wanna fight nobody behind me. Come on. From here on after this fight after I get this win and I look great doing it, I'll be victorious and get this knockout. Everybody that's ahead of me or or whatever, I just want to go for it. How about a Ugas? Oh, perfect. I mean, that's a good fight too. Perfect. You know, he, he for a lot of top guys too. You know, he, he older. You know, but he still he, he not bad. He still can fight. All right, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Um, we know that you don't really care if you're fighting um, Spence, Crawford, but one of those guys, but any of those guys present to you a little bit more problems in the ring, man? <laughs> nah, I feel like the better my competition, the better I'm gonna be. So it really don't matter who who in front of me, you know. Why do you think a lot of these fighters are avoiding you to, to get in the ring? Uh, cause I feel like because they've been in this this spot before. You know, they, they was young, they was hungry, you know what it felt like. They'd be like this. And like I said before, I don't care who they put in front of me. They can put a, a brick wall in front of me. You put my, my aunt, you put my cousin, my nephew. I'm going I'm going to train like it's a world title fight, and I'm going there to, to kill. You know, well, not, not kill. I don't mean to say kill, but I'm going there to do damage, you know, uh, put in work, you know, and, 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 that's, and come out victorious. So that's, that's what I want to do. Is it almost like a compliment to you that people aren't eager to jump in the ring with you? I mean, uh, you could say that. But then, like, but me, I really don't be caring. I don't look at look at stuff like that. I just want to fight. I just want, you know, uh, like I said, before, fight, fight, fight the guys that's in front of me. I don't care about what they think or what, what's this, what's that. I just want to fight. That's it. Would it kind of mean more to you to fight a guy like Spence as opposed to, you know, he moves up and you fight for a vacant title? You said, like, we said, well, I'd rather like, fight Spence. Like, would it, like, would it make, would it make, would it be more meaningful for you to like fight Spence as opposed to winning the title vacantly? I mean, yeah, of course. You know, when you when you fight when you fighting for a belt, you want to take that belt from somebody. But if I got to fight for a vacant belt, that's cool too. I feel like it don't really matter what it is. I just want my shot, you know, and, and fight these, these top guys. That's it. This uh, opponent that you're fighting, uh, it's his first time in America. I know you say that, um, you know, your your brother, your father, um, they all are watching, um, you're studying. Do you, do you know anything about this guy? Do you feel like he has anything for you to show something different uh, in the ring? Mike Tyson. <laughs> so, you know, uh, nah, I feel like I, whatever he bring, I'm going to adjust. You know, I, I adjust fast. I, I read stuff fast. I pick up stuff fast. And I break these guys down fast. So it don't really matter what he bring. Uh, I feel like he's gonna be on his bike, but if he come forward, that's perfect. That's even better for me. So it don't, it don't really matter where this fight go. But like I said, for my, my team, they've been telling me what to do, certain things to do, you know, uh, we got something for it. How many fights do you want in 2023? 2023, I want at least three fights, you know. Uh, I'm glad I'm fighting in January, that way I can, you know, squeeze out three fights, you know. What's your wish list for the three fights in 2023? Uh, this fight coming up, then, you know, maybe Earl, Earl next, and then, but Bud next or Keith Thurman, anybody, I probably don't care. Virgil Ortiz, the Jonas, the owners, winner of that, don't matter. Bring them on, you know. If they end up fighting each other and that turns into a trilogy yeah. and they drag it out, you know, next year, does going up to 54 seem like a possibility? Would you do a Bud and go right up and fight Jermel? Yeah, I uh, definitely, I'll go to 54. I could go to 54 easily, you know. Uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see if they, you know, if they fight or whatever, you know. I don't know, hopefully. Hopefully they do fight. They only, they only, they only fight once, <laughs> you know. And you know, that way they ain't holding it up, you know. But whatever, wherever way it go, I feel like I'll be fine. You know, it don't matter where it's at. 
I mean, if I got if I got to go to 54 and come back down to 47 and grab grab them belts too, that's cool too. Would it, would it make more sense for you to do that? Because I know you want to become undisputed at 147. Yeah. Um, Spence been trying to do that for like past 75 years now. But you know, Charlo had all of the belts, so yeah. would it kind of make sense for you to be like, all right, let me just fight him now and then go back down to you know try to collect all belts because you can become undisputed in one fight. Fight who now? Um, Charlo. I need that 54. What do you think about that fight? What do you think about him as a fighter? Uh, Charlo, great fighter. Definitely a good fight. You know, uh, good fight. You know, uh, don't like I said before, don't matter who they put in front of me. Uh, don't matter. Uh, I take him on. All of anybody at 54, 47. If you were to fight Keith Thurman, would that be again revenge for Danny Garcia's loss to Keith? <laughs> yeah, we, we could do that. You know, uh, <laughs> give revenge for Danny. You know, uh, I've been calling for that fight too. You know, I, I've been calling for all these guys. I'm tired, tired of talking about it. For real, for real. You got one of the best like combination styles in the game right now. Appreciate How are you coming up with your like, combinations? Are you like watching somebody or are they just coming to you naturally? Uh -huh. How are you developing, you know, getting guys out of there with like angles that a lot of boxers don't have right now? I mean, everything my pop. You know, been teaching me. You know, uh, I was doing a little bit in there today. You know, I, I ain't show y'all too much, but I was doing it in the day. Everything I did, I've been working on angles, sliding, you know, different things like that. Finding the opening, make your own opening, things like that. It's really my dad, for real, for real. And my brothers, you know, uh, they teach me everything. My brothers been in this game for a long time, so, you know, they, they open, it up, open it up for me. They got the blueprint for me. All right, have you been looking at any footage of your opponent at all? No. Nah. Why, why do boxers research their opponents? I mean, some boxers do, some boxers don't. I, the reason I don't is because, like I said before, in the amateurs, you, you fighting seven days, six days out the week. You fight, you can fight three softballs one day, fight two tall right-handed guys the next day. So it don't really matter to me. I feel like you'll find a way to adjust, you know, and that's that's what I do when I get in the ring. And just because a guy fights somebody a certain way, don't mean they're gonna fight you that way. So, you know, you just gotta be prepared all the way around. Thank you. What does it do for you? Like you're, uh, I'm sorry, no, like you're um, training four minute rounds uh, yeah. here. What does that do for you? Uh, I've been doing it since I was a baby, you know, uh, since I was a baby. <laughs> Yeah. We've been doing four minutes. Uh, that's why when I fight, and the fights that do last a little, like a little longer, I, I stand up the whole time. Yo. If y'all peep that, um, I stand up. I got that from my brother, Ferrari the Carson, and this he over there. You know, he, he trying to make a comeback too. So hopefully we get him back in the ring soon. And, uh, but yeah, I got that from him. You know, standing up in the corner. And, uh, yeah, four minutes make everything easier. Make the fight go by fast. I, I don't breathe my heart none of that. So you know, as y'all can see today.